one, two, three, four is missing, five, six, seven is missing, eight. So how is calculate sequence? So let me show you here. So have you seen this is one? That means zero plus one is equal to is equal to one. This is right. So this is one and one plus two one plus two is equal to three have you seen this one after that you can see two plus two plus three it is five right now you can see uh, three plus five it will be eight, right? This is eight. And five plus eight is equal to 13. So Fibonacci uh, uh, number is uh, calculating like that. So when we calculate each other, so it will, uh, we will get the next number, right? So this is a Fibonacci. Mm -hmm number so now we can see next thing uh this is the fibonacci uh, are you clear about the fibonacci number how number is coming like that so this number is called fibonacci sequence so this is fibonacci sequence number we are calculating like that when we're calculating like uh, 34 right 34 plus uh five and five 34 plus five five uh this one right this one so we'll see uh, this is the number right this equal to 89 this is the number right so they are calculating uh, they are calculating like that got it so do you have any doubt how to calculate Fibonacci number or you can see the Fibonacci series, how we find this uh, series. Right. Next problem is there, how to find, so when, let me show you one thing. So when we are using, like, uh, let me use, uh, so we are using like that, this is a Fibonacci let's check it the number is coming differently have you seen this is 0 uh, 23 6 3.6 38.2 50.0 61.8 78.6 100 123.6 how this number is getting like when we adding this number right when we at this number, we never seen that type of uh, like number, but this number and that number is totally different, right? Fibonacci number is coming in a point. Have you seen all are coming at like uh, 23.6, 38.2, like that. But you can see here, this number is coming like that. So how we are getting this number, right? First, when we add this number, like, uh, let me tell you, when we add this two, uh, three plus five is equal to eight, right? Uh, we are adding this one and we have seen this is our result. Now, that how we are getting that number. So that is why they are calculating like that. Now we are uh, adding. Now next you can see, let me show you another thing. Let me open that calculator. Okay. Have you seen, this is, uh, let me show you. Uh, now, uh, okay. Now you can see this is five and eight. Have you seen, there is a two number. So let me calculate here. Now we are dividing, right? Five divided by eight. We'll get six or point and uh, six, uh, two, five. Have you seen? 
this is the number like if you want to see here uh, 13 divided by 21 we'll see like that 61 percent right now fibonacci number is coming like that uh, whatever we have seen in this uh, in our satellite right? let me see okay no audio no voice so let me check it once again voice Connect by phone participant will need to tell never cancel. No, we don't want from computer audio. It's uh, okay, I think. Are you able to hear me? So next you can see the fibonacci retracement and fibonacci ratio so how we will get the fibonacci retracement and ratio so where i shown you like that uh, number was like the five eight by that number we will see the ratio have you seen this is we are getting this ratio when we are dividing like uh, uh, three uh, here was after that uh, five so we are dividing each other. When we divide each other, uh, three divided by five, we'll get that ratio, right? Is it clear? Have you seen this one? Okay. So uh, when you can see this is 31%, uh, uh, we divided eight by 21, we'll get 38% and we'll uh, 33 and divided by uh, uh, eight divided by uh, sorry eight divided by 33 will get get uh, 24. so big question is that which one most important ratio in this fibonacci remember so that is why you can see most important ratio are 26 percent 38 percent 50 percent 61 percent 61.8 percent and 78 percent among that one remember 50% are not in, it is not a Fibonacci ratio. The 50%, have you seen? Uh, this is, you can see this is 50%, have you seen? Okay, let me show you. This 50%, have you seen? This is not a Fibonacci ratio. So why we are taking this uh, Fibonacci? So if you have 50% Fibonacci ratio, then why do we take 50%? So you can see this is 100%. Right, this is zero percent, and this is hundred percent. Right, this is hundred percent. So the fifty is a middle. 50 is a middle. So that is why most of the trader are using and most important level. Fifty is the most important level. Here is no level according to the Fibonacci ratio, but people are using. 50%, right? This is, you can see this is a 50%. So it's a most important, that is why we are using, because this is a middle of this, uh, middle of in the, in the Fibonacci, right? Now you can see here, uh, there is a 50%, right? Uh, is it clear Fibonacci? It is a basic understand, right? So do you uh, do you have any query about Fibonacci? Okay, no audience. So do you have any query about uh, this Fibonacci? So if you have any query, you can you just leave a message if you have any query about this Fibonacci.
so, क्योंकि ये बहुत वास्ट सब्जेक्ट है क्योंकि मैं मुझे थोड़ा जाना चैप्टर यहाँ पे हुआ है सिर्फ फिबोनेसी बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग राइट नो डी नो डी ओके ओके आर यू एबल टू हियर मी Is 600%. Okay. So now let's see next. Uh, next, we'll start Fibonacci retracement level. Let's check it Fibonacci retracement level. So now we can see the Fibonacci retracement level. What is the meaning of Fibonacci retracement? So that means retracement that means suppose market is running like that okay uh, suppose this is a a point so maximum time when i'm analyzing the market so i'm telling this is the a, a point and b point so how to find out the a point and b point i'll tell you later right so when price is pushing down from the main wave so this wave we call retracement right this is called retracement and this is called extension right this is a a to this a point and this is a b point after that we are looking for c point this is called c point so this c point when price is pushing down from previous higher point and they are creating a new low right so this point known as retracement remember this is called retracement so we'll uh, we'll tell you what is the retracement point how to find out the retracement point is it clear this is called retracement right so most of the people are telling the market will retrace toward uh, 30 percent retrace toward, uh, uh, 50 percent retrace toward 61 percent right this is called retracement are you clear okay okay something audio what audio is uh, audio problem is going on i don't know because most of the people are able to hear me right uh, less of the people are not, not able to hear me what problem is i think some audio problem uh, right some audio problem is going on somewhere okay now is it clear retracement here we here you can see a retracement like that uh, here you can see this is a a point and this is a b point in the uptrend remember in the uptrend right and now you can see this is a c point is a retracement and the retracement is a distance between b and c right so this is a and this is b so now price is pushing down right this wave some people are uh, uh, wave so next you can see this uh, it is called iliot wave so i'll create another uh, webinar regarding iliot wave right so now you can see price uh, or you can call like impulsive wave right so uh, the total retracement point who, uh, how we will find this retracement level right so i'll tell you later right in the downtrend you can see this is a a point and b point and the retracement are this is a c point right this is a point and b point and the retracement of this is called c point and this is the retracement now you can see this is a start a point b point and c point this is the retracement point so next i'll tell you uh, which level uh, where to enter where to exit in this market right 
Now let's see in a live start. Uh, you can see this is our live start. So now you can see, and let me show you another thing. I want to connect this is point. Suppose uh, this is A point, right? This is A point and this is B point. And this is in a large time frame in a four hour. Now you can see this is the retracement of 50%. Have you seen? And this is called C part, uh, C point. And this is called retracement, right? Retracement, right? And this is called a retracement. That means distance between A and B, right? This is A and B. Suppose uh, this is, uh, for example, this is the 100 point, right? And now you can see this is a retracement of 50%. That means uh, this is called 50%. That means 50 point retracement, right? Is it clear? So this is called retracement, remember. Okay. Now big question is there, should we, uh, should the price touch the retracement level? This is the most important thing. Most of the trader, they're confused here. Should the price touch the retracement level? Now I give you an example here. Have you seen this? Is, I give you an example here. Uh, all right. So in this example, here was a 50 percent. Have you seen this one? When price was uh, here, and this is a point in a downtrend, and this is a B point, and price just retraced toward here. Have you seen? just a little more above was 50 percent return this candle not able to uh, hit this level like a 50 percent after that price down right now question is that is it important is it important to pass this level or not the answer is no we no need to hit this level right remember so do you have any query uh, in this uh, regarding this uh, retracement level? Do you have any query so you can ask me? If you are not able to understand, you can ask me. So do you have any query? So if you have any query about this retracement, you can ask me. So after that, I'll go to next. Okay, is it clear, right? Now, question is that which level is most important? I have given some like a number, level 23.6%, is it most important level? 38%, uh, 38.2, most important level, 50, most important, 61, most important, 77, uh, 78, most important, and some people are using 88.2% retracement. All are, if all are most important, then in which level we're gonna buy or sell? That is the another question, right? Now, most of the people like uh, here is the market is running like that. Now you can see this is 100%, right? 100% here you can see this is the 100% here, right? And this is a uh, right, zero percent, zero percent here. Now you can see market is, uh, okay, let me, is that, let me it comes to know like that. And this is 100%, right? This is 100%. This is zero percent. Now you can see here will be uh, 23 percent. 23. Next will be here will be like uh, 38. Now here you can see this will be a retracement level. Retracement level. When market is coming down, you're gonna buy here or not? No, we cannot buy here. But problem is that this point is important, right? then why we are not going to buy here? So we are looking for a confirmation. I'll tell you uh, next, right? Again, price just drop here. 
is it time to buy because this level also important right we're gonna buy here no we can we are looking for a confirmation every level we need a confirmation here also 23 we need a confirmation 38 we need a confirmation to enter in this market remember so i'll tell you what confirmation are uh, important right all all are important level but we can't enter any level so that is why we are looking for a important so let me show you something all right so here we can see this is um right so now you can see this was a zero percent let me let me change that one so then you will come to know okay so let me let me show you this is zero percent so now have you seen uh, this is hundred percent and this is zero percent so whoa, here so you can see this is a hundred percent and this is zero percent right so first you can see this is a 23 percent right have you seen this is a 23 uh, percent when price uh, suppose this is a point and d point b point we need where is the c point where where is the c point we need c point where that is the most important this is a c point so C point may here also 23 percent. Oh, sorry, ah, sorry. 23 percent also C point may be 23 percent also here, right? We have seen, but we need a confirmation, but we are not getting any confirmation here. Have you seen? After that, you can see next because 23 percent also important. Have you seen? I told you 20 also important right this is also important 23 percent next you can see here and next 38 percent have you seen this is a 38 percent retracement this one that is also important right this is the 38 percent have you seen we can enter here also now you can see we can enter also here here also we can go for buy, but we never gonna buy here because we are not getting any confirmation, right? So now you can see this was important. We can go for buy here, but we never gonna buy here, right? So where we'll buy that the next big question. Last you can see in exactly 50% price, market was coming like that, giving a little more correction, a little more correction, 50% market boom, right? That. Right. So big question is there, how we find we can enter here, right? So that is why we need the confirmation, various type of pattern. We need a candlestick pattern, moving average, et cetera, et cetera, right? So if you wanna enter here, what is the important? So one thing let me tell you, when price retrace in this area, we have seen a pattern here. So most of the people are telling this is called W pattern or double bottom. So when they are forming above this uh, level, so we confirm that market, they completed, this is the A point, and this is the B point, and this is C point. We are not going to, call oh, this is C point. No, it is not C point. This is C point. No, this is not C point. Now you can see this is a C point because they formed this one and price start pulling up right have you seen have you got it how we find so i'll tell you later how to find uh, exactly how to filter that thing by using moving average or accept accept if you place here moving average then you will able to understand moving average supporting level support uh, something something except except sorry 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 i need to change the color okay uh, let me show you the color. Okay, okay, okay. 
Hmm, we need the 150 like exponential color is okay. Okay, now let me check you. 200, right? 150. So let me change the color. Sorry, 100. We need that is why we are using some uh, moving averages, right? So moving averages. So I'll tell you how to use the moving averages, right? Okay. So do you have any query here? So which chart you want? I just tell, tell me which chart if you want any chart. So I definitely I'll. So if you. Do you want any chart? So you just uh, place the name. I'll put this chart. Okay. Any chart you tell me. Any chart. Tech Mahinda. Okay. Okay. Tech Mahinda, right? Okay. I'll put here Tech Mahinda. How to find support and resistance. Okay. Give me the Tech Mahinda. Tech Mahinda. Ah, this is Tech Mahinda, right? So, is it Tech Mahinda? Right. Let me delete this one. Okay. So, let's check it. Tech Mahinda. This is Tech Mahinda chart. Have you seen? Now we can see. Let me show you Tech Mahinda. What we have seen here. So, suppose we have seen this is the higher point, right? This is the higher point and this is the lower point. Is it clear? This is the A point. And now let's see, this is the B point. Now we're going to connect A point and B point. What is the C point? We need C point, right? So let me connect Fibonacci right, right there, right? So I connect A point and B point. B point. Have you seen this? I connected B point and A point. This is the wave now. Now you can see the retracement is where 38 percent. Have you seen? That is why I'm telling every uh, every level 23, 38, 50, 61, 78.6. Every level are important, right? So you can see after retracing the 38 percent. We have seen the break this uh, hundred percent, right? So after that, just a little more push down and price. This candle broke this uh, hundred percent level, so the, uh, that was our salenty, right? So I'll I'll discuss how to enter. So everything I'll cover. So first one by one, you just uh, try to understand. This is the most important tools, uh, most trader, most uh, like uh, professor. Or professional trader, not only forex stocks or whatever. Legendary trader are using this tool, right? So it will be a little more complicated, not a big com complicated. Remember, right? So how to find this C point? So I'll tell you. This is a C point, right? One by one. Let me go, right? So what is uh, the time frame so i'm using uh right now uh, i'm using four hours so why i'm using time frame is always use just uh, use time frame like uh, four hour at least to find out the trend right so why i'm telling have you seen this is four hour h4 four hour time frame we have seen market is downtrend right downtrend right down Downtrend. So in this downtrend, we never gonna buy. We are looking for only sell when we'll get the sell opportunity in this market. So now you can see people are thinking uh, in this portion. Let me let me tell you one thing in this portion. So when price is telling in this area from this area in a large time frame, it is retracement. But if you wanna see in a small time frame, this is an uptrend, right? Whatever indicator you will use in a small time frame will find the uptrend so how to trade uh, in this question mr thakuria i think uh, from thakuria uh, 
okay reform thakuri asked me what's the time frame uh, okay so i using this one so why it's important let me tell you so now we can see according to your uh, method uh, this trend is down but here we can see we'll see some uptrend from this area to this area this portion in this portion like in this portion right remember i'll show you in this portion in a small time frame we'll see a uptrend right so uh, let me draw some line here for find out the support that means in a large time frame where i'm telling large time frame market is in downtrend and a small time frame now they are giving a retracement so we need resistant line so i'll find some resistant line that is why suppose market was uh, in a downtrend so i want to draw some resistant line here okay first market was here we have seen uh, this is a resistant line around 23 percent right next the resistant we have seen here and uh, this one 38 percent next resistant you can see this is a 50 percent have you seen so we'll discuss in this area only right come uh, let's say in a small time frame like 15 minutes right let me show you in a 15 minutes have you seen this is a 15 minute time frame right that means in this area right from in this area in a small time frame this portion have you seen this portion in this area there is an uptrend they're creating higher high higher low higher high higher low and higher high higher low remember when are you gonna trade in this uh is that tech mohinda so we are looking for sell only but where we are looking for sell below this resistance have you seen this is a resistant 23 percent who is placing by fibonacci so we never seen any sell position have you seen any sell position according to candlestick pattern no right here was no here was we have seen some sell uh, above this area right so here you can go for sell after breaking this area so why i'm telling because they are forming some pattern right have you seen they are forming some pattern right type and here was a neckline this was a sell point below in this area our sell entry so i think here you will get at least uh 40 to 50 rupees i think uh, how many rupees let me tell you okay uh, there was a 51 and here's a 30 uh, 51 and 30 20 rupees so at least you will get the 20 rupees from this area right here was a uh, sell signal we have seen here right and the next you can see perfectly we have seen this candlestick pattern so let me zoom a little more then you comes to know in a small time frame let me zoom a little more right candlestick pattern here have you seen this is candlestick pattern so i think you know this candlestick pattern very clearly this one engulfing pattern right everybody knows this pattern this pattern when they're forming and if you use the volume you'll see here huge volume there is huge volume right so when we'll connect sorry okay okay sorry sorry color automatically change the color let me change the color okay so you can see after creating that one all right so prices break this level have you seen so we can go for sell because we have seen according the 50 percent in a large time frame like that was retracing here like was a point in a four hour remember for a point b point and a c point here we have seen 38 percent retracement right 38 percent retracement in the h4 remember h4 four hour chart the retracement has completed in this area that means 34 percent retracement and we have seen confirmation here we never seen any confirmation for the cell right here we have seen is a can uh, confirmation and if you want to use candles uh, sorry moving average crossover you will find the moving average crossover according to my trading strategy so let me uh, show you the moving average 